Hi everyone. Uh, I'm going to show you very, very, um, you know, carefully and thoroughly how we do a disc cleanup and a scan disc and a defrag. Um, this will fix so many problems. So many problems. Uh, okay, one thing uh, that we're going to start with, if you have anything in your recycle bin, right click, empty recycle bin, yes. Okay, get rid of that right now. Okay, then you go to My Computer, which a lot of people, if you click Start down here, if you do not have the shortcut on your computer, click Start, okay, then Computer, see where I'm at? And then you'll come up to your hard drive and, of course, you know, all your removable drives, which right here is your C drive. You double click on your C drive or your hard drive, make sure that's the right one that we're going to play with, okay? And obviously it is, so here we are, the C drive. Now, if you right click on your C drive, uh, okay, you right click and you go down to properties, okay? And this will bring up a little pie chart that will help you with your disk cleanup. The first thing that you want to do is click right this button right here, see it? Disk cleanup. Now this will bring up this file here. Now we, I only have the one user on the computer and then it's my name. If you have more than one user, like say your children is one user and they have a different login, your husband's another one, your wife's another one, you know, of course you want to do fo uh, files from all users on this computer. But we're going to do my files only, okay? And it's open the window right behind me and it's calculating how much space that is going to be needed and this is going to take a few minutes to do this. Now uh, this window popped right up after um, what I've done and what we're going to do, you see we have downloaded program files, temporary internet bi files, recycle bin, thumbnails per uh, the archive users error report. Okay, yeah we want it to clean up so we're going to click OK. It says are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Yes we do. Now, once again, well, this shouldn't take me too long because I just did this the other day. And so, this is going to go right on through. Now, you're not quite done yet, okay? Another thing that I do, because although it deleted the temporary internet files, it did not delete your history or cookies. So, what you're going to do, you're going to click on Start. Let me minimize this here again. You're going to click on Start. You're going to go to Control Panel right here, okay? Now here's my control panel. And what we're going to do, we're going to go down to Internet. Um, I go up to Internet. Right here, Internet Options, okay? And this is always a good thing to do. So I'll put Delete Browser History on Exit. I mean, this Delete Temporary Files, History Cookies, Save Passwords, and Web Form Information. And yes, now here's some good things that may help you, you know, while we're in here. Search, change search, uh, change search defaults. You can do your settings here and do different things with it if you wanted to. And what we're going to do right here under browsing history, we're going to, well, let's go to settings first, okay, which you can look. Uh, now, right here, I don't like this. I'm, I'm glad I went in here. This space, I've got it actually on. 50, which, yeah, I recommend if it was really 50 to 250. Keep it around 50. Otherwise, it is going to end up taking a lot more space on your hard drive. So I always keep it at 50. Then I go, I delete it like every day or every other day. Your history, days to keep pages in history, I only have one. Believe me, that's more than enough, okay? Well, click OK. Now what we're going to do, browsing history, we're going to just delete, okay? And then I put in all the check marks, temporary internet files, cookies, history, foreign data, in private filtering, and click delete, okay? Now you'll see right here, please wait while browsing history is deleted. You can go ahead and close this window out while that is doing that. And while that is doing that, let me walk you through. Now, I'm not going to do a scan disk and a deep frag right at this moment, but I will show you how to do one, okay? Here, you, what you will do, you click on Tools in the same window, okay? You're back to this window with the pie chart. Now, what, as you see, my temporary internet files and histories just got deleted. Now, this is where we did the disk cleanup, right? Well, you had different tools. You have tools, hardware, sharing, 
security and quota. You're going to click on the tools tab, okay? Now to do a scan disk, a scan disk is error checking. What you'll do is you click check now. I'm not going to click it. I'm just going to point here beside it because like I said, I just did one and it does take time. And it will tell you that there needs to be some resources free that it will do it on the next reboot. And it'll say, ask you if you want to schedule it. Click yes, all right? Once you click yes, it'll come up with two a little another little window, and it will ask uh, two questions. There'll be two check marks to put. Like, do you want it to go ahead and fix errors? Yes, you do. Check both of those check marks. Okay. Then you reboot your computer, and it will start doing the scan disk right then. Now, what I tell everybody: do your scan disk or your error checking first before you do the defrag. B. So if you click defrag now. Okay, another window will come up right here. Click continue. I always do the scan disk first, okay? And then defrag now. Now you can run it uh, on a schedule. You click defrag now. Now you can select all your disks or you can select one, okay? Like if I wanted to just do my hard drive. Click OK. Alright, here it goes. Defragmenting hard disk C. Okay, so I can close it, or what I can do is even min I can minimize it, or I can cancel it and just close it out. Okay, so that's how you clean up your computer. Um, quick, easy, not very hard to do. I do recommend that people do it at least once a week.